Welcome back to another video and today I'll be giving you guys a tutorial on how to use binary or just in general how binary, binary works and how you can implement it in the Minecraft setting with command blocks and all that. So firstly, we can start explaining what binary actually is. So first we gotta understand that binary kind of works like ordinary counting, like which is base 10, which is basically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10. So kind of works similar to that. So, you know, in normal counting, it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna just use blocks to represent this. This right here is right, here is nine, right? And when you get one more number here, it's gonna turn this nine into a zero and move this one or, and then put this one to a one. And it's going to continue to like continue like that forever until it turns to 100 then there's like an extra one here in the zero 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 and then it's just going to turn this one to zero and it's going to be a thousand here and binary kind of works the same except that in binary the maximum number is not nine like in base 10 it's actually one so let's just represent um let's represent right let's just put some blocks here Let's represent a block as one and nothing as zero. So this law right here, this is worth zero right now, right? I put a block right here. Now it's worth one. But if I want to put another block and count one more up to uh, the, the value of two, this slot right here is full now because it's one, which means I have to move this one, one to the left right here and then remove this one. And now it's worth two. And then I do the same thing over again. I want to turn this into the value of three. Then I put a block here because, uh, you know, I got space here now. Now it's worth three. But then I wanted to put it to four. But as you can see, this one's right. This one right here is full. So we remove this one and put it over to this one. And this one's full as well. So we remove this one and put a block here. And now this is four. So I can actually show you guys an, exam an example over here as well with the same blocks. So kind of where so binary actually uh, moves in just like times it by two so it starts at one or you can guess you can say it starts at zero, uh, zero but it starts at one then you times that by two then it's two then it's two times two is four four times four eight eight times eight 16 16 times six or six <laughs> 16 times two which is 32 32 times two 64 and then just continues on like that forever basically so it kind of it's, it's quite simple so if you would want to, for example, make the number nine, you just do eight and one like this. And this is worth nine, which is quite simple. I hope you guys kind of understood that. So now we're going to get straight into showing it in like a, a Minecraft situation. Future me here, but I forgot to say that binary is mostly used for efficiency and for storing data, as you can see right here in ones and zeros. But let's get straight back into the video. So as we can see right here, uh, this is how you can use binary in a Minecraft situation. So I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show the whole system as well. So kind of like a free tutorial on that as well. But this is basically a sell all system where we use binary to make it work instantaneously, like one at a time, or at, like instantaneously in one tick basically. So but, but all you gotta do is you give, you give yourself some emeralds and we can convert the emeralds into dollars right so for example if i were to give myself 623 emeralds and this is a lot of emeralds as you can see right here multiple stacks and by clicking this button it's going to instantly sell all these emeralds and turn it into what was it again 623 emeralds so as you can see right there it's 623 emeralds so this system i made right here only clears 511 in one take which means it actually cleared the 623 uh the emeralds in two takes because you can make it infinitely big it'll do like stuff with one tick and all that but i couldn't care to make that many command blocks so but yeah this works with any kind of value let's put it oh we gotta reset the money put it to 512 this is actually also works on two ticks because it's 511 which is kind of the limit for one tick as you can see quick as hell put it to 32 tick or 32 emeralds oh, reset money real quick this is gonna instantly 32 and it's pretty cool so if you want to know how to do that it's quite simple this right here is just for the text you can see the money and then over here i put this to need redstone you can do this to always active if you want because right now if would if i were to put it in an absurd absurd like huge number it probably won't clear it all because uh, it's only on needs redstone but this can clear any 
uh, like number infin infinitely basically but the more emeralds you have if you have like 10,000 emeralds you can't really have that in an inventory but let's say you can it will actually take like a few seconds instead of a one tick so but first things here um, it just tests for if you have more than 20 256 emeralds and if you do it gives you 256 money next up right here just clears the 256 that it tested for and it kind of works like that just continuously and as you can see on the pattern it does move in the times two thingy that i explained previously where it's like one times two and then two times two which is four four times two eight eight times two sixteen and thirty two as you can see right here it does move in that so yeah pretty nice so there we go this one this one this one this one and this one it kind of just moves in the same pattern all the way for another example where it kind of it's kind of this is one of the is a little bit more interesting i guess but this basically just converts the ones and zeros you put into this machine into an actual number on the side there on the sidebar so if i were to get like oh, 128 which is like one and then zero one 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 zero one for example like this so if i were to just say this in binary it's one zero one 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 zero one zero and that is worth 186 in binary so i just made this converter so you can kind of i guess understand it but as you can see previously it does use just adding these numbers together so you start with one this one's zero which means it's not going to count as anything this, this two counts as something because there's one right next to it so it's two and this one is not worth anything plus eight plus 16 plus 32 this one is not worth anything because there's a zero there then plus uh 128 and that's how you get 186 so it's pretty simple then over this one over here converts just normal one uh, numbers so you can see inside there it says 186 if we were to press this button it will convert 186 into just binary like this so it's going to look exactly the same as that one right there which is pretty cool and now let's move on to the next example of how you can use binary in a Minecraft situation. The second um, example is you can actually use uh, binary to make a scoreboard TP system. So right now, I'm not gonna use any like slash TP to the coordinates. I'm just gonna use scoreboards. So as you can see on the bottom there, I can change these to whatever I want. So for example, if I were to put my X coordinate to 128, or it's actually a scoreboard. If I were to put my X scoreboard to 128, then for example, if we were to put my Y scoreboard, oh, Y scoreboard to like, I, I don't know, I'll do like 200, I guess. And for example, let's do my Z to minus 500 like this. And if I were to just do this slash scoreboard players set at S TP, I think it was one to initialize it. It will TP to the exact coordinates that I put into the scoreboards, as you can see on the top left there and at the bottom right there. So this just uses scoreboards and or, or doesn't just use. Of course, you have some TP there as well. But it uses the scoreboards to kind of like just instantly TP how many blocks you need to go to get to the to get to get to the specific coordinates. So that's another example where you can use the binary four, which is just binary TP. Then let's move on to the next example. The next up way you can use this for is kind of like a size choosing um I don't know algorithm but you can use it for size choosing and it also uses binary tp by the way just so you know but basically right here i have selected that i wanted 10x 10y and 10z and basically this thing's just gonna uh, generate a 10 by 10 and i can adjust the numbers however uh, however i want um just by putting in the scoreboard value that i want it to be so if i want it to be like a 20 by 20 i can do that easily and you can also i need this is not limited to just blocks like this as you can see right here I can also make it into like actual rooms before I do that. I can actually randomize the rooms as well, but I'm lazy. So I'm just going to keep it at 10 times 10 times 10 because I'm kind of, I don't want to really uh, adjust it right now because uh, it's going to take a li li little time and I want to spare as much time as I can get because this is quite um, a big video already. But as you can see right here, I generated a 10 times or this is actually X by 10 again because the rooms are 10 by 10. 
So this actually, realistically speaking, a hundred by hundred, but it kind of counts as a ten by ten. So, but yeah, as you can see, pretty cool and very simple. And it uses the same concept with binary that I already got, that I already told you guys. Uh, and if you're wondering why there's so many towers here, it's just to multiply the speed. So you actually really only need this one right here, but it's gonna be way slower though. So uh, yeah. I do hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.